Yeah. Hey special family, welcome back to another video. I am Autism Mom and on this channel we talk about autism and everything in between. So this is another fair use reaction video and here's the video. Oh, don't we know it don't we know it we know what it feels like for a child to have meltdowns all day and you're trying to keep it positive you're trying to calm them down you're trying to make them feel safe they don't want to be touched they don't want to be bothered they just don't want to and then all of a sudden a couple of hours later they just want to come cuddle the whole upset that they were is gone and they want to cuddle that means a lot because while the child is going through a meltdown you as the parent are also mentally going through something because you want to help and you want to make it better and sometimes it, it takes longer than others to make the child feel better or help the child to get back to comfort zone so the question would be how would you handle meltdowns if your child with special needs start having meltdowns here are some tips on that. Be empathetic. Empathy means listening and acknowledging their struggles without judgment. Make them feel safe and loved. Eliminate punishments. They're not doing it on purpose. It's a meltdown. They're just overwhelmed by their environment. Focus on your child, not staring bystanders. Remember, you'll have that a lot with the staring bystanders if you're in public. But the main goal is to get your child out of that environment and take them to a quiet, safe place. Break out your sensory toolkit. If you know that there's something in your household that helps your child cope with a meltdown or helps them calm down, walk with that. Take that everywhere you go because you never know when a meltdown will happen. Teach them coping strategies once they're calm. So once they're calm, if you have coping strategies that you can work with, help them to find those strategies or teach them those strategies so that when another meltdown happens, you can implement those. So let's take a look at the comment section and see what the subscribers or followers had to say. I cried so hard yesterday for my son continuous meltdown, but when he holds my face and looks into my eyes, I just melt into that moment. I totally feel her on that one another commenter said i thought i was the only one i'm new at this my daughter is on the spectrum with no diagnosis yet hardly loves to cuddle but when she does i take it the next commenter says i don't know if you're like me but i'm eagerly waiting to hear ma mama mom mommy etc the cuddles are great girl i'm with you on that i still waiting for the word mom Next commenter says, like Rahamic saved our lives from my son's meltdown, calmed him right down. He even slept in it, suspended under his bunk bed for a few years. We use the like Rahamic from age 5 to 19. He's 19 and still brings it out to hang outside in the summer. This is what they mean with coping mechanism, things that help your child cope with a meltdown. So if you would like to follow this wonderful mom, her TikTok handle is It's Rachel's Life. This is what her page friend looks like. Please go over there, subscribe to her channel, and show her some love. All right, I hope this video was helpful, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.